Hi, um, so this is the first game I've created and published independently. It's called Full Color Tiles. Uh, it's now available on the Google Play and Apple stores. Um, it was created by myself in a year and a half. Um, in my spare time, um, I'm looking for new games projects at the moment. Um, the sound design was by Jack Fletcher and lots of thanks to these people uh, and especially to Q&A by Carl Aldred. Um, Cool, let's get going. Okay, so slight spoilers, I'm going to talk about the game but I'm also going to do some of the solutions for some of the puzzles, so if you don't want to see the solutions, just listen to the audio. Um, but if you come specifically for the solutions, then this is the right place. Um, I'm going to try and cut this into two so that you can uh, maybe listen to half of it and then if you don't want to see all the solutions, you don't have to see the second half, for example. Um, so let's get going. So play. This is a simple puzzle game. Um, we've got nothing to do here other than you can click around, but you basically got um, a reset button here. It changes the colour. You've got a menu button here, um, so you can kind of see how many levels there are um, or where you are. Um, so we can click on that, and then you basically the only thing you can do on this level is click on all the tiles, and either when you click, you win. Um, awesome, so we've kind of learned that we need to click on things to win. This one um, is slightly um, a variation on that, so either one we click on, miraculously we win again. Um, and this one starts to switch up a bit, so we can click on one of these, and this, and we can see that things change, and then if they're all the same, we get through the level. So what we hopefully have learned there, that by getting the colours all the same, we win the level and that's basically the setup for the whole game. You have to make every level, each of the tiles the same colour. Okay, so this level is the first level where it's actually starting to be tricky. We're going to go back to that quickly. So what we're going to do is get golds on every level. So spoilers, this is how you get golds on every level. Um, every level I designed, um, I designed to be able to look at it Hopefully, once you've worked out the rules further on in the game, you could do it in four or less clicks. So every level is designed around four or less clicks to win. Uh, some levels it's one, it's two, some levels three, and some of the harder levels it's four. Um, but essentially, every level can be done by looking at it and then working out, hopefully, with the knowledge of um, being playing it, that within a couple of moves you can solve it. So. This is the first level where that becomes a problem. If I just restart it, so you can see this counter restarts to zero. And get it one, and get gold. Uh, so there's very few people so far that I've seen on the statistics that have got um, all golds for the whole game. There's a couple, a few people who've completed the whole game to the end, but not only one who's got 100% golds. Um, so big shout out to that person. Hi. Um, so this level, uh, starts exploring the fact um, what you just learned in the last level but essentially it's the same thing in one click I can turn this all into this lovely kind of I'm not sure what you called that kind of colour actually um, kind of coppery colour I guess um, okay so here we go more levels um, I've played these levels so many times that um, some of them are so easy, but later on I actually get confused about how to win. Um, this is the first level where you have to start thinking about how the uh, tiles all around impact each other. So up till now it's mostly been the tiles next to the one you click that you have to keep an eye on. So if you click this one maybe you'll understand by now that this one changes, so you can do that as well as itself, uh, and you can do that there as well. But up to now, you probably won't have understood that maybe if you click on this one, um, that will change and all the ones around it in this kind of plus shape will change. So in getting to this point, you can start playing around on this level and realize that fact. So if I click on this one, it's obvious now, hopefully, which one I need to click on, which is the central um, tile. So I just restart and get gold. So I can actually start here, or I can start here. Um, to make it more obvious, I'm going to start here and do it in two. Um, a lot of the levels I've designed specifically so that you kind of hopefully learn something from them. 
So for these last two levels, you're learning that it's the plus sign that you're trying to make. And this next level really hits that home. And Oh, actually, no, it's the level after this one. Um, so this one is somewhat um, trying to make you not think, which is a weird way of designing, but um, it shows you where to go through the colours. So if I just looked at this and hadn't understood any of the rules by now, you could just click on all the blue ones and you would win. Um, and a, uh, quite a lot of the levels are designed like this, where it's showing you instinctively what you should be pressing. Um, so let's go and do that. You can see these two changed, and then the next blue was here, so I'm going to click on that one, and then the next blue was here. So you can see that I'm kind of hopefully instructing you where you should be going. <coughs> um, and this is the one I was talking about. Hopefully by now you will be understood and this will be super easy. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, and then these ones start getting difficult, so armed with that knowledge we start um, getting to levels where it's all a little bit tricky and you have to start using maybe three or four clicks to get through them. Um, so this one's number three, so there, 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 and I've totally forgotten how to do it. Adi, adi, and bottom right if you've already spotted it, there you go. Bum, bum, bum. Um, the music was um, just a revelation when we put it in the game, got the sounds going, it just made everything so much better. Um, so thank you Jack Fletcher for his excellent work. Um, this is one of the hardest levels uh, in the section, so there's sections of 15 levels um, before you get to um, new tiles to mix it up a little bit. Um, this one is a fora and it's really quite difficult just to look at it and work it out. But essentially there's very few ways of doing this one. Um, the way that I designed it is to click on these two down here and this one and then you see the plus we made there so we can get it in four. So it's one of the harder ones. Okay, new section. So we've got this new tile. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, what does it do? It does diagonals. It basically does exactly what the square tile does but on the diagonal. So it changes itself and it changes the four diagonals around it. We haven't worked that out yet. Um, but we, in two moves we can work out this one and that it does the diagonals. Um, okay, so this one. Um, this one might be a little bit confusing when you first get to it after that last challenge, um, so I think I might have um, overstepped the difficulty here, but this one can be done in one move. Um, so you've just learned in the last one that it does diagonals. If you do this one, it just does the diagonal here. These diagonals don't have any tiles in them. Um, these ones do as they did previously, so we just reset that. You should be able to work out that this one um, has got this one on the diagonal, this one on the diagonal, this one on the diagonal, so they should all go this kind of burnt um, uh, coppery colour. Um, I should have really put this one before that last one, but anyway, so this one should be really easy now after that last one. Um, so this bottom corner here, just really hit home that's on the diagonal. Um, and this one um, is to make it look slightly confusing, um, but this one can be done in one move. So you can either click on this one, which will do that one on the diagonal and that one on the diagonal, or you can click on the middle one, which uh, does itself and no diagonals. So I'm just going to do that. Bye. Uh, okay, cool. Now that we've learned about the diagonals, uh, we start feeding in some more difficult challenges based on the fact that you've got these plus sign square tiles and the diagonals kind of X sign uh, diamond tiles. Um, so we start creating um, more challenging levels. This one's a freer. I think I could have got it down less, but um, c'est la vie. Uh, and this is the first actual challenging, uh, really challenging level in the um, diamond um, section of four, uh, 15, sorry. Here we go. So this level I can never remember how to do, so that's why I got silver. Uh, let's get back and do that properly. Okay, cool. And then I'm on two, and we've got one last one in here. So if I click on this one, uh, you'll, you'll get the plus sign, and because it's not on diagonal, it won't affect anything else. Boom. Okay, so we've got gold on that. Phew. It's troubling when you can't do, play your own game. Okay, um, 
So this is a funny um, one. This starts introducing um, different ways of playing levels. So this one, you might think, okay, well, if I click on that one and that one, we've made this uh, diagonals and we click on the middle one and boom. But why don't we get the gold? Um, because we can do it in less than three. So let's go back. So that was one, that was two, and then you click on that and it's three. What we can do is we can click on one and you can see that now we've made that cross again, that um, X, we we'll click on the middle and we get gold. Awesome, okay, so.